Howdy Hammer Dulcimer players. My name is Doug Giddings from Fort Worth, Texas, and I'm very excited to have you with me. In this video, we're going to take a look at Frank Mills' Music Box Dancer. We're going to break it down into parts and hopefully make it a little easier for you to learn so that you'll have a brand new song to play for everybody. So, if you're all ready, come with me. Okay, here we go. We will get started with Music Box Dancer, uh, basically breaking this down into three different sections. We have an intro, an A part, and a B part. So, start off with, um, in the intro, um, just to let you know, just a few basic things. I'm playing this on a uh, Masterworks um, 1615 uh, chromatic. You should be able to play this on a 1514 as long as you can, you, you can get up into these notes right here, then you will be fine. Um, this song is in the key of C. So we'll be working right in there. All right, the intro. Now this, I have to say, is probably the easiest part of the song because basically you're learning a pretty simple C chord arpeggio and then repeating it about four times. So I'll go through um, the intro once and then come back and we'll break down the pattern. So here we go. And that's the whole intro. You just do that four times and then roll right into the melody. Now, the pattern itself starts over here on this C and then we go to this E, and then G, back to the E, up to the C, up to the G, E, G. C, E, G, E, C, G, E, G. Go one more time. C, E, G, That's it. I can say you just roll through that. I, I said four times earlier. It's almost four times because when you're going through it on the fourth time, you would go and stop on that E right there and then roll into the melody, which is what we will cover next. All right, let's jump into the melody portion. So, um, from here, we're going to look at an A part and a B part on the song. Um, and a lot of the same patterns that you learn in the A part will repeat in the B part. So hopefully the B part will be pretty easy for you to, uh, to pick up whenever we get to that. So first little section of the A part is going to start uh, right here in, in this G box. And we're going to start up here on the C. And the pattern, the, the melody pattern that we're going to go through, I'll play it through one time, uh, just the first little section, and then go back through and name all the notes. And that's the first part. So um, I'll do this again. You can rewind, slow it down, and watch it um, over and over again just to get down the, the rhythm and the pattern of it. And what we're playing here is C, C, G, C, E, C, E, G. Okay. So, um, like I say, rewind that, uh, watch it back slower, um, and get that first part down. That pattern repeats quite a bit, so um, get that one get that one locked down pretty good. Next, um, after going through through that little C arpeggio there, then we come up here and we're going to do an F chord, and it's going to use this F note right here, A, and C, 
And what we're going to do is just do like a little triad. And then right after that triad, we're just going to walk down from the B to the G. So that's F, A, C, B, A, G. All right, now let's put the two together. All right, that's the first little section of it. Uh, next, it gets into kind of a, a, a fun little, a fun run here. Uh, it's gonna start with a G, a G chord. Right there, we're gonna use this B this D and this G. And we do the same kind of triad that we did up here, just in G. And this part I always found a little bit tricky because right after you do that G, this right hand has got to come back up here and catch this F. And then from that F, we're basically going to walk down to this G and then back up, skipping a course. So it, it it looks like this. I'll play it through one time and then go back slowly and tell you what notes I'm using there. Okay, so what that is is the G. B, D, G. F, D, B, G, B, D, F. And then we go E, C, A, G. I'll do it again. G chord. F, D, B, G, B, D, F, E, C, A, G. Okay, so let's put all those together from the beginning. And there you have it. Uh, the second half of, of the first phrase, or excuse me, the second half of part A is basically th that same, is those same patterns again with just a very, very slight change to the end. Um, instead of it going to, uh, it's going to end with, okay, so after we've gone through, through those first phrases, then we're coming back to uh, the very first one that we learned. This is for the second half of the of part A. G again. And here's where it differs. Um, we come to that G, B, D, back to that B. C, D, E, C. Okay, so let me run through that one more time. This is the, the second half of part A. Now, this D, the way I play it, um, it when, when I'm doing that, um, that D, B, C, D, don't forget, you can also play this D down here. If you're more comfortable, more comfortable coming down instead of going over to the side, you know, whatever works best for you. Don't, don't forget about those duplicated notes because that can really help. Uh, help your help your you know your smoothness and your emotion. Some people like to play laterally, others like to play across. Um, I guess this would be laterally, but um, anyway, that option is there. So let me put. Let's do the whole first phrase 
I'll play it for you all the way through, and then we'll go back and do it a little bit slowly. Here we go. And there you have it. That's the first the first phrase. Again, starting with um, with the C. G. And that's it. That's the first half of the song. All right, now we'll get into the B part. And like I said before, the B part and the A part both are very, very similar. Uh, it, just a little bit, a little bit of change here right at the beginning of it. But uh, I'm going to play through the entire B part uh, all the way through one time just so you can see how much stuff you've already learned is repeated and you'll, you'll see that there's not too much new to learn. So the B part is going to start up here in, in F uh, using that same little E, uh, that same triad that we used before. So, okay, I'm going to play the whole B part all the way through, and then we'll go back and, and uh, break it down. And that's the B part. So the the changes are this uh, just the way it starts out up here again. It's that uh, basically you're going through that F that F triad and then coming right back out of it. So it's so F A C A F C E A. Sorry, and then um, similarly like we do in the other one, walking it right back up. Okay, so we go F, A, C, A, F, C, A, C, F, A, G, C, A, G. I always found that little part right there kind of tricky just because I wanted to alternate those hammer strokes, but it's two on this side, one on that side. That may take a little bit of practice if, you know, if you're not used to, or if you're wanting to alternate like that. So uh, running through that B part one more time, the first part of it. And then down here, and we do that G, we do that long run just like you learned for the A part. Back to the first part. And then the ending, which is just the same as uh, the ending of the A part. And that is Music Box Dancer. Just using, the, using that A part and that B part, and you can kind of arrange them in different ways. Like uh, the way I play it, I play through the A part twice, then I go to the B part, and then after that I actually go back into the intro and then play that A part again, then the B part, and I actually move down to, you know, play it down. <laughs> You can play it down in that lower octave just to make it uh, a little bit different, but um, that's that's really the whole song. You know, you, you learn those few parts, you piece them together, you arrange those sections in a way that you think is fun, and, and man, it's just a great song to play. So um, I'll, I'll kind of put it all together here and uh, show you what, I'm, what I mean. I'll just run through the whole song uh, real quick. Thank you. 
that's just a real quick version of it. Um, have fun with it. Have a lot of fun with it. Um, play, like I say, play down here in those lower notes. Uh, you can even do some other things. You can change up the way it starts whenever you, you know, you come back to the beginning instead of... You may try something like this. Or you can even start on this D up here. Also, there's some places to add, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, soft grace notes uh, just to make it make it a little more interesting and full. Oops, messed up there. have it and um, same patterns will will transfer really really well if you want to get down into these lower notes you just start right here on this C That is it. Um, have a great time with it. Enjoy it. It is such a great song. Um, fun to play. Very happy and bright. So uh, take it out there and make it yours.
All right. Well, that's the whole song. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave me a, a comment down here. Or also, if, if there's anything that I, I explained that didn't make sense, or if I went too fast or forgot something, please let me know in the comments down here, and I will do my best to get an explanation out to you. Also, if you're interested in other Hammer Dulcimer tutorial videos, let me know what those are, and I'll see if I can get something together for you. So thanks again for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, I, I love the Hammer Dulcimer community. We've Everybody's been so supportive of me learning how to play, and I just want to give that back to other players out there as well. So thanks so much, and I will see you in the next video.